Hey, um, let's see how can we create uh, bullet cracks on a glass type material. Uh, we usually uh, have uh, three types of uh, glass material. It's, uh, the first one is a regular one, which breaks uh, diff into different pieces. Uh, the smaller pieces are in the, in the heat area and the larger pieces on the side. It's a regular glass. Another type of glass is the uh, big glass which uh, shatters into small pieces evenly. Uh, and the third, third type of glass is the, is the uh, layered glass which is uh, uh, used as a windshield uh, and uh, it has some uh, layering to it so whenever uh, you uh, try to kind of break it, it it cracks but it doesn't break so it eventually has uh, the type of cracks uh, so we will discuss this type of a glass and how can we create this uh, uh, bullet uh, heads okay so uh, right, here's a scene I've prepared. So um, I'm starting with the grid. Yeah, I'm just cutting off, and we add some resolution to it, and then I'm adding thickness by poly extruding uh, our uh, our shape. And then, uh, so uh, the basic idea behind it is to use uh, booleans uh, as the uh, uh, boolean method to create cracks. Okay, and um, here I have my uh, uh, base geometry, which uh, which I will use to uh, crack the glass, to break the glass, and. Um, I'm scattering a few points, and uh, here I'm uh, creating some animation. So I'm deleting points randomly. So as if I have uh, uh, a bullet hits uh, randomly uh, hitting the, the the glass. Okay, and. Uh, uh, I'm adding some distortion to my uh, uh, breaker geometry. Okay, let's say bullet to my bullet, and I'm copying that to the uh, to the points. Uh, uh, we see kind of they uh, they orient in the same direction. So what can we do? We can just add this. Attribute randomizer, uh, and we're using normals, uh, and I'm using inside the sphere to randomize the direction. Okay, uh, this way I can uh, orient them differently, and then I'm applying the bullet, uh, the boolean. Uh, This way we have like one, two, three, four. Uh, there is some changes happening. Let's use uh, let's see, we got it. Two, three, four. Let's add the noise. Right, and I will use a normal center. Alright, now it's good. So we have a different um, whole shapes, all right. Um, 
Yeah, uh, next one we are using our uh, our points to add some um, add some cracks. Okay, so uh, I'm doing the same procedure. I'm copying my sphere. Uh, I'm using for each point uh, loop and. Um, for each sphere, I'm scattering some points with um, um, transforming them to zero, and I know that uh, they have those points have different normal direction. Okay, so uh, here I'm creating a grid with some distortion applied to it. Okay, and uh, uh, here I am also uh, adding uh, attribute randomizer and uh, I'm using this meta uh, which has uh, the detail attribute in this case iteration to uh, randomize uh, the orientation of each grid okay and here I'm using a simple expression to uh, randomize my p scale value this way I can control uh, the pieces. Alright. And orient as well. Um, another layer uh, That I'm creating, I would like to have some um, even uh, distribution of the shatter, which is uh, uh, which is uh, placed uh, like close to to hole. Okay, so it it has some uh, straight lines because because of the the, the fast hit of the bullet and I have this type of shape so the the chaotic one and the organized one okay and the last one that I'm adding is the the circular break uh, now uh, I'm having a simple shape but uh, uh, you might want to uh, add some uh, uh, randomness to to this uh, circular type break layer okay um, so I'm also copying this to the point um, and in the end I'm having this type of shape okay so here's the one, two, three, four. And, and we'll simply uh, apply another Boolean operation to it. Okay. And here's the, the, the bullet hits. We have like one. Okay, uh, we need to cache that before we could just play back. Just stop it. Um, here I have applied uh, an explode just to see. How it looks. Let's see. Zero. Um. Okay. Um. We do see those uh, cracks. Okay. And well, what I would like to do next, um, I'm uh, packing and creating the name attribute like this. Uh, it does the same. 
All right, and then um, I'm applying the 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 noise, and um, I'm applying it to position. So I'd like to uh, those uh, broken shapes stick out a little bit, so we could have some irregularity in the uh, on the surface. Okay. So, as you see, uh, we have some uh, irregularity on, on the surface of uh, our shape. And then I, I cache it, and now I can play back. One, two, three, four. Okay. So as you see, it's not very complicated, uh, easy enough, uh, and you can add more points, and uh, there will be more uh, of those uh, gunshots. Okay, and then uh, uh, I simply transform it and apply an alpha attribute, so uh, to imitate the glass. Um, I didn't want to to render that, uh, but uh, there's nothing complex. Simply uh, a glass material, and uh, you're good to go. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so you you scatter some points. You you copy this uh, uh, the the main uh, the the main shape uh, to this point, and then by using the for each uh, uh, point cycle, uh, you create some randomness uh, to to the shapes uh, that will serve as a uh, breaker uh, geometry. Okay. And also, uh, uh, usually, uh, the the glass uh, around the, the hole it's quite uh, uh, it's uh, it has some uh, opacity to it. So you could simply uh, add some color transfer, and then use uh, during rendering. Uh, to uh, make uh, those areas uh, more opaque uh, compared to uh, to those um, clean parts of the glass. Okay. So. Uh, So yeah, uh, this is uh, how you can achieve this type of effect. And uh, uh, I hope you like the lesson. If you find it useful, please subscribe for uh, more coming lessons. And thank you very much. Uh, goodbye and good luck.